Hey, Tyler Anderson here. Uh, happy to join the Angels, and we're going to answer some questions out of this hat here. All right, first thing we got. If you weren't a baseball player, what job would you be really good at? I don't know, there's not really a lot of things I'm really good at. I try to stick to one, but I would hope that my wife could be really good at working and I could try to be really good at taking care of our kids, because I feel like that would be a pretty good setup and spend a lot of time with the family. Do you have any odd routines and or superstitions? I would say probably less superstitious, but very routine oriented. Uh, and I would say odd is, you know, up for interpretation. I do a lot of things that are like very down to like the minute or precise or what I do for, especially for getting ready for baseball and games. But yeah, I mean, all, all kinds of things from the time I eat to when you eat and shower and, and your preparation, but I, I feel like that preparation is uh, a different from superstition, but I think routines are really important. Which teammate are you most looking forward to getting to know? What's the first question you'll ask them? Maybe Fletch. I feel like I'm gonna ask him how he hits everybody. It doesn't matter what pitch you throw or where you throw it, he's gonna swing at it and he's probably gonna get a hit on it. Um, so looking forward for him to be healthy and, and see him do his thing out there. What's one household appliance you couldn't live without? I'm gonna go with the obvious one here and probably a refrigerator. Uh, full of a lot of good foods and makes, you know, keeps your meats ready so you can cook them and ready to go. Uh, and I think just prolongs, gives you a longer window to, to eat, otherwise you have a pretty short window to live your life. What's something that you'll always say yes to? Probably a good round of golf. Uh, you know, if, if I have the time and it's, you're going to go play a fun course and get out for a few hours and kind of let go, uh, I feel like there's no better way to do it than get on the golf course. Uh, how do you approach learning something new? Uh, I think for me the first thing is trying to understand. Um, I feel like if you want to learn anything, you kind of really need to understand like how it works or why it works or whatever it is. So if it's a teammate, you want to try to understand like what makes them tick, or if it's a language, you want to understand like how the language works, or if it's an appliance, you want to figure out how something does it and then why, and then I think you kind of from there can figure out the rest. What's something new you've learned about yourself this past year? I've definitely learned that having more kids is harder than you think. Uh, we've, we've added to our family and had some more kids, and I feel like uh, you just you kind of learn that you can function on less sleep than you always thought. You know, I feel like when you're younger, you always sleep for eight, nine, ten hours, and you feel great, and then you're like, oh, I can't sleep off, you know, five or six hours, you know, be tired. But uh, I think you learn that, you know, when you need something, that something needs to get done, that you can always kind of find a way to get it done. What's the worst movie you've ever seen? I would say there's probably no worst movie that I've watched the entire movie of, but the Sharknado movies that were out there were pretty bad. Uh, yeah, there's a couple other ones, but that, I'd say that one stands out as an easy, easy bad one. What accomplishments are you the proudest of? Uh, for me, I would say usually things that I'm most proud of are uh, maybe something that you take part in, but it's not your accomplishment. So if like your team goes out and gets a win, like and you know you're proud of the team accomplishing something, or if you know you help your kids with their homework and they go out and have good grades, like you're you know you're proud of that accomplishment. Um, yeah, I would say most, most things are to accomplish maybe helping somebody else and, and helping them accomplish something. Which ballpark is your favorite to pitch in? Uh, I think the new answer is going to be Angel Stadium. It's our, uh, it's our, our, hasn't been so far, but it will be now going forward, so there you go. Tyler Anderson, thanks for watching. Go Angels.